Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Weekend Charging Session and today we will charge your stock request dito sa ating Facebook group and of course, no, palagi nating inuuna ang ating index so, yan anong nangyari nung isang linggo so, gamitin natin ang ating 2 Trade Asia Prime account and let's check sa index kung anong nangyari so, yun walang green ah puro red so, Puro red, halos lahat. May konti lang dalawa, MELTG. The rest is red. Kahit dito is red, no? Across the board. Nawala na yung mga malilit na chart dito. So, mukhang di kinaya ang sell-off, no? And dito na yung lagi kong sinasabi sa inyo na uh, if you miss the ride, ano, don't chase. Kasi uh, hindi yan nagiging positive palagi. And most of the time, it will... Uh, turn to losses no? kasi ang bilis na ng pag-akyat ito sinabol mo in the end tatuktok ka bumili diba? though kung may mayroon namang mga breakout setup pero kahit pa you have to look kasi na mentoring lagi natin tinuturo the Dow Theory and lagi mong basahin yung PSE before you trade specific issues no? laging ganun and yun na nga you know Laging sinasabi natin na uh, the index is already oversold. You know, ay, overbought. Again, no? You know? And hindi naman yan nilagay si RSI na wala lang, no? Every time RSI ni index goes overbought, nagpo-correct si index ng malaki. Lagi yan. Okay? Laging nangyayari yan. And yan ang purpose ni RSI. You know? Boom. Pa, oh. Ito medyo nagtagal lang konti Pero may divergence na So yun ang lalim ng hinukay niya diba? Ito pa oh. Palagi yan, hindi yan Nag-miss ito almost Pero hindi pa pinaabot Pero again ito, kung mataas na to Medyo no, kakabahang ka na Pero oh, the fact na umabot siya ng above 70 Yun na yun, no? yun, na yun. Sure na yan na magkakorek So Yun yung lagi natin sasabi na huwag nyo habulin kapag nagrarally na and kung naiwangan ng trip and eh, look for another ride no? or wait for the uh, tri- yung bang pagbalik no? pag bumalik and eh, yun ba na miss mo yung boat look for another boat or look for the boat to return no? para sa next na trip niya makasakay ka na yun so huwag nyo hahabulin pag mataas na same thing with sa US, lahat naman yun is about to correct, no? Kahit si, si Global, si SNP, o oh, ayan, no? Pa-correct na rin yan. Okay? Oh, hindi lang sakto yung guhit, pero pag sinakto mo yan. O oh, ayun, no? Diba? Sakto ka na dun. O, oh, nasa resistance na rin yan. And though wala siya sa overbought region, pero malapit-lapit na and resistance na, no? So, lahat yan magpo-correct. Doon ang lagi yung sinasabi sa inyo is make sure to sell sa resistance para may pang-buy ka sa dip. Okay? Bakit ka magbabay sa dip? Eh, kasi lahat naman is positive na just nagkataon lang na nasa resistance na and may kung may technical bounds, no? may normal correction and healthy pullback. So, yun. Kita nyo naman, no? US Dollar Index. Basag na, basag na. Okay. Ang resist support yan dati is ito. Another leg na down na naman yan. So, ito na ngayon support niya. Pag nabasag niya yan, ito na naman ngayon. Ang sunod, 103. Then, 101. In the long run, sabi ko na sa inyo, in the long run, pababa yan, no? So, ang play is to bet against the dollar. Okay. That's why Asian market is good play for 2020. Kung wala pa 2023, nag-briefing na tayo agad. May hint na kayo, no? So, nag-correct yung buong Asia. Okay. Buong Asian peers is nag-correct nung Friday. Halos lahat naman yan nag-correct. Wala namang nakaligtas dyan. So, ayun, no? So, mayroong ilan, no? Mayroong ilan na like Vietnam. Eh, Vietnam kasi sobrang baba naman yan. Vietnam and Malaysia. So, yun lang yung dalawang paakyat. No? The rest is pababa. Ito, ano tong aqua? Indonesia. So, malakas talaga si Indo. So, lahat yan is pababa. 
pointing down maliban dun sa tatlong yon na actually dalawa yung pataas ng konti uh, Vietnam talagang ano yan uh, nag, nagkakapitulate kasi kaya against the trend kumbaga habol play lang siya ayun no nasa ilalim yan eh. di ba yung mga nasa ilalim sila yung humahabol like Vietnam malakas yan Indonesia it's different story kasi that's the play for 2023 talaga for emerging market anyway since natin magko-correct eh nakita na natin for Philippines na nag-correct na and ngayon yung mga favorite stock nyo okay eh, it's the time no it's the time to to load some to buy some for the long term no oh, wag niyo masyadong tinan yung short term may volatility talaga yan Eh, kita nyo yung bonds, yung US bonds going down. Pero, oh, halos mag-over. Sold na and pwede mag-bounce. No? So, that's one of the reason bakit dapat mag-correct. Japan, hit resistance, then goes back. Diba? Ang maganda lang is the Philippine 10-year bonds. No? Ayun, oh. Around 7 na lang. Dati, nasa 7.8. Ilang linggo lang. Um, 6.9 na. Laki na yung binabaan yan. Kaya yung mga rich panalo, di ba? Sabi ko naman sa inyo. I'm eyeing on the rich. Not because of just the dividends, but also because the price appreciation. Kasi ahabulin niya yung, dip, yung uh, yield na yan. No? Kung, six, kung 7% yan, so at least mga 6% yield lang dapat si rich. So at least may 1% na difference. Para maging attractive pa rin si bonds and makahabul si rich. Pero... From 8% down to 6, 1% yield yung hinahabol. Malaki yun. No? Maybe mga 20 or 10% ang increase nun sa current price. Okay, so, gold. Another good play. Gold, silver. Yun yung mga play dapat ngayon. Metals. No? Kasi pag mababa ang dollar, edi marami kang mabibiling metals. Mura, kumbaga. hindi sila bababa ang presyo. Pero, lumalaki yung buying power mo. So, that's why tataas sa mga metals. Plus, reopening ni China. Okay? So, nickel, ganda rin. O, oh, yun o, oh, di ba? Yan talaga mga best play. Aluminum, gumalaw din. Okay? So, ito si China. Nasa resistance na, yun o. Oh. Downtrend yan, sobrang downtrend. Pero nagre-reopen yan ngayon. And lalakas yung demand sa commodities. That's why nakaka-play tayo sa commodities. Lahat ng nasa Discord nasabihan beforehand. Anyway, if you want to join our Discord nga pala, just click the join here sa subscribe ng YouTube and uh, nakapasok kayo sa Discord ng YouTube channel natin. Okay? So, yun know, o. Konting pullback lang. Healthy pullback din. Tuloy ang rally. Okay? do maraming negative sa China because of the government policy. Eh, hindi mo naman kailangan ng recovery dito. Kailangan mo lang dito si reopening. Reopening lang. Makabalik lang sa normal range niya. Then may maganda-ganda ka ng upside around yan, mga 10 to 20%. O yan, kahit dito lang. Kahit makabalik lang siya dyan. Tapos doon na siya mag kasi naiiwan talaga si China because of the globalization. Kaya lang, since China is the second largest economy, eh talagang may chance pa yan na umakyat. Same thing with HK50. Kasi majority of uh, stocks listed in HK or 70% of HK listed stocks came from China. Okay, so kung mag-play ka sa China, ang gumagalaw is Hang Seng. So, yun. Around, around dyan sa area na yan. Kahit hindi mag-recover, mag-reopen lang. Okay? Pwede rin konting baba. Yan, pwede rin dyan. Still, oh, 20% pa. So, yun. So, Philippines, anong hatol sa Philippines? Well, Yun na nga, you can buy on dips. No? Yung mga favorite yung stock, you can still accumulate some no? for the long ride. 
pero hinay-hinay lang kasi hindi natin alam kung yan yung lowest by maraming event pa kasi by ano by Tuesday next week lalabas ang Philippine CPI target or ang mean is 7.8 which is higher than the previous months or last November of 7.7 so 1% higher so alam natin na pag uh, below sa estimate then magta-rally yan and pag above sa estimate pwedeng mabutas yan no? so for ano yan um, wedge talaga yan na nag-breakout pataas because of the MSCI kita nyo naman yun so all the inflows dito is coming from MSCI because nga ang payboard is emerging market so kasama dyan ang Philippines no? I think 17% yung pumasok sa Philippines from the whole rebalancing ayan and dahil tapos na sa MSCI syempre may correction and tapos na mag inflow ng fund pero ang maganda is na hold nyo yung ayun o oh, yung trend line yan yan trend line na yan doon siya nag support so that's good number one number two medyo nabasag sa MA200 pero by Monday I think no sa laki ng drop na yan normally may may ano yan may rallying konti Monday and then konso lang hindi malaki kasi by Tuesday it will wait for the data CPI okay so for the week hanggang Tuesday lang muna yung forecast natin kasi we're waiting for the actual data pero kung the data is in line with estimate konso muna yan dyan o pwede rin mag retest dito sa level na to kasi ang next panic is the US CPI and then the Fed interest rates hike two weeks from now na. so madaming events So, the best way is wag nyo munang wag na kayo masyado mag-trade this December. Baka masira ang inyong Pasko. No? Kung may position kayo, make sure that it is for the medium term. So, hanggang February dapat yung holding period nyo. No? Or, pwede rin naman hanggang normally kasi week ang March. No? Patatapusin lang yung February because of the earning season and yung uh, dividends. And then, after nun is magiging week na ulit yung market. Pero depende. Kasi kung bull run next year, hindi eh, walang seasonality sa market. Okay? So, for now, yun muna hanggang Tuesday. So, Monday is quick bounce, possible, or umislide dito sa sa trend na yan. No? So, bullish yan kapag ganyan. That's bullish scenario. Pero kung ang inflation is higher than the 7.8 million, eh baka nga makita pa natin yung mas mababa. Somewhere around, ayan, masyadong mababa yung 6 na posible yan. No? Yung 6-4 nga, sobrang baba na yan pero nahit agad eh. Normally, ang target lang is, itetest lang dapat to. Yan lang dapat ang itetest. 6-6 hanggang 6-7, I mean 6-7 hanggang 6-6. Yan lang dapat ang itetest. Pero dahil na over na umabot sa 6-5. So, yun. May personal bias is may quick bounce yan. Pero pwede rin namang mali ako. And pwede rin dumiretso yan. Pero pag nabasag kasi ito. Pag nabasag to Next is 6-1. Okay? So, mag-ingat. Okay? Mag-ingat kasi may chance pa rin na mag-6-1. Pero maliit lang yung percent. No? Depende yan. Mangyayari yan kung mali ang estimate ng market. Like, for example, uh, 50 basis points ang expectation. Biglang 75 si Fed. So, pwede balik 6-1 or lower than that. Pero kung 50 basis points and mababa si CPI ni US and mababa si CPI ni Philippines, pwedeng tumuloy-tuloy pa yan. Okay? So again, the target is 6-8 and hopefully, you know, hopefully mag, dyan mag-range hanggang December, hanggang January. Okay? So that's the bias. So yan muna for the index. So mamaya, uh, chart natin isa-isa in yung mga stock requested sa ating FB. Again, our partner is 2Trade. So, if you want to open an account with them, nandiyan sa description ng link EKYC and use the code TFP para sa mga future promo. So, yun lang. Kita kita sa part. Hello guys. Welcome sa Hybrid Analytics YouTube channel. In this channel, we are uh, making a lot of review every week ng mga stock requests, no? 
galing sa ating Facebook group. And then, pakasubscribe natin, i-click natin yung bell, tapos select natin yung all para may notifications kayo every time na nag-update tayo or nagpo-post tayo sa community. Okay? So, dito sa community, meron tayong mga ilang announcement mga, as in the community ng lahat ng nag-subscribe. And then, if you want to learn more about stock market, just check our playlist. And then, ayan, nandito yung ating mga stock market learning resources. Meron din tayo dyang free webinar series, 17 videos, no? Yung isa is 19 videos. We also have here a join button. So, if you want to unlock yung mga video na for members only. Anyway, uh, we want to uh, vote dito sa ating mga stock requests yung chart natin every week. So, just uh, join our Facebook group, Philippine Stock Market Analytics, okay? So, join lang kayo dito para makapag-vote kayo dito sa ating poll na chinachart naman natin every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay? Last dito rin tayo nag-poll para sa live charting every Wednesday or Tuesday. Okay, so join lang kayo dito. Uh, Philippine Stock Market Analytics, DFT Institute. Enjoy watching guys and thank you for supporting our channel.